An Iraqi militant group is threatening more attacks on U.S. troops after two separate rocket and drone strikes over the weekend. Iraq's Kitab Hezbollah says the assaults in Iraq and Syria are due to stagnating talks regarding a withdrawal of U.S. troops. Five rockets were launched from Iraq at a U.S. base in northeast Syria on Sunday. And at least one drone strike was launched at a U.S. airbase in western Iraq Saturday. There were no reports of any injuries or significant damage from either attack. These are the first attacks on U.S. troops in the region in about three months. Meanwhile, Iraqi authorities said they're investigating an explosion on a military base Saturday, which killed one and injured eight. The base belonged to a coalition of Iran-allied militias, and the U.S. denies involvement. The latest incidents coincide with the Iraqi prime minister's return from a visit to the White House. The United States still has around 2,500 soldiers in Iraq and 900 in Syria. It's part of an international coalition to combat the Islamic State group.